Good morning, Driver Alert Nation. Now, how are you all doing today? It is Big Dong Schlong King Kong. Hit you with your mother's thong. Shut up! How are we doing today? I've got a really interesting story that I wanted to bring to you guys because I think this is either the funniest shit ever or the biggest scam in the world. I don't know if you noticed, the world is getting hotter. Oh shit, really? Not only is it getting hotter, our weather is getting worse. Fires, floods, half the world's on fire, half the world is flooded, half the world is exploding. There's just been massive earthquakes, then spin tsunamis. And in the past, I feel like to feel like the past five years when my brain sort of like, you know, started to properly evolve and get to its kind of like reach and its peak, you know. It's only downhill after this. I'm 21. I've not got much many years left of my peak. By the time I'm 23, I'm going to be in a wheelchair. By the time I'm 25, I'm going to be drooling, needing care from my own mother and father. Instead of my kids looking after me, it'll be my parents looking after me, feeding me, making sure that I, I have my meals and my medication in the morning so I don't start seeing bloody Santa Claus on the walls. Enough about my uh, lack of ability and my small brain. If you want to drop me a comment, what's your opinion on this? And drop a like if you like it. Why the fuck not? It's free. It's, uh, you know, requires minimal effort. I understand tapping the screen can be slightly time consuming, but it helps get this pushed out to other human beings who might want to watch this and non-human beings. We don't know what's out there, but into the video. Climate change. We know what it is. The world's getting hotter. We're pumping gases in. They're making more McDonald's burgers, meaning they're making more cows, meaning more cows fart. Trumpy Trump time equals hotter time. More temperature in the earth equals tectonic plates. I don't fucking know. Geography, bro. Bad weather. Yes, science! Bad rain. Bad fires. Like, last few years ago in Australia, there were massive fires. In Europe this year, there's been loads of fires killing everyone. And now, six young people are taking 32 countries to court. Now, this, to me, is crazy. How can six people take 32 countries to court? I want a piece of this pie. I am a human being. I was a kid when all this happened as well, alright? Why can't I have a go at this? I want some money from these fuckers who have caused me to be born in this shit world. This family remembers the heat waves and fires that ripped through Portugal in 2017. It killed a load of people, a uh, hundred to be precise, and they, I am quoting, the wildfires made me really anxious about what sort of future I would have. Doesn't sound like an 11 year old to me. These th few people, 24, so older than me, she's suing, I want a piece of the pie. 20 and 11, among six people who were filing against lawsuits at 32 governments. So that's all of Europe, the EU, so that's people like the UK, Norway, Russia, Switzerland, Turkey. Okay. They accuse countries of insufficient action over climate change and failing to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. So basically, they found a loophole by saying, because you said all this stuff and haven't done it, you're going to reduce the temperature. You're going to make this place better for everyone. My kids are going to be happy, blah, 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 and not have to walk outside and, you know, with a bottle of water in case there's a fire on the floor blocking your way to school. But they are claiming that the forest fires have occurred in Portugal each year since 2017, a result of global warming. That doesn't sound like something in 11 year old would say so it's clearly the adults and this 11 year old's just sort of hitching a ride and gonna get a shit ton of cash from it whatever mate i mean you know what i mean global warming's bad i get that i'm not sure you can sue the government for it i think there's plenty of other people as well who need to be involved. It says they are experiencing significant impacts uh, due to the extreme temperatures, just like many people in the world, and they spent the time indoors restricting their... Sorry, I've just read that. Forcing them to stay indoors and restricting their ability to sleep, concentrate, or exercise. Surely staying indoors means you can sleep. I mean, do they sleep outside? They also suffer eco-anxiety, allergies, and respiratory conditions, including asthma. I have got Asperger's, which is not very similar to asthma, Asperger. <laughs> but I wonder, did these these lot have asthma before? You know what what's going on, man? You know I'm struggling to breathe. <coughs> See, that's a real cough, mate. That's from the temperatures. That's from the high heat all around us. That's what's doing that. I want a piece of this pie. I'm going to sue, fuck it, I'm going to sue 52 governments. You can bring me a shit ton of cash and I will sit on my ass for the rest of my life. I want a green world without pollution. I want to be healthy, says 11-year-old Mar Mariana. Now, I really struggle to see that 11-year-old Mariana even knows what a green world without pollution means. What, what, what do you want me to say? It's a load of horse crack. I'm afraid of what the place where we live will look like like yeah it's going to be on fire it's going to be on flames there'll be nothing left people are going to fight it's literally going to be chaos it's going to be like i know picture the last of us right
but instead of like zombies it's just people people have gone crazy and like um maybe they turn cannibals and they just go a bit nuts and like hey what do you want you're killing you know it's like they're the zombies you've got to fight them back claudia says mariana so not even mariana this time claudia's just putting shit in her mouth get scared when she hears helicopters flying above which reminds her of the firefighters back in 2017 now that is sad you know ptsd or whatever that is sad and i get that you know it's, it must have been hard to grow up in a place like that i grew up in the united of kingdoms where all i had to worry about was whether i was going to be able to sleep because whether the rain was bouncing on my window too much that would keep me up at night i understand it can be traumatic but i think this is clearly older people getting in this little kid's head and look how cute she is she looks adorable just look at that face you would completely and utterly give this woman this little girl money wouldn't you you know she came up she said can i have 10 quid it's like oh i don't even know who you are just take here here's 50 look keep the change keep it you know you just give it without contemplating so 50,000 acres which uh, you know i don't even know what one acre is but that sounds like a shit ton of uh, area 78 square miles which again i think is like a box isn't it one mile by one mile school school taught me well my teachers would be listening to this thinking god damn we failed this kid i think it's really amazing for mariana to get involved in this case to have such a conscience at her age claudia says which is like her mother or her sister i think I, i'm all for sue the government fuck him i don't like him anyway but let's not pretend this is a little girl here talking this is a load of older people getting in her head and using this face for her oh here we go but it's also very worrying why does she need to think about all these things she should be playing with her friends and dancing to tiktok videos instead there we go look i think it's probably a better thing if i'm being honest that the world's on fire because then at least they're not looking at de uh, tiktok videos you've got to take some of the pros all right i know but the world being on fire is bad global warming bad temperatures rising bad i get that but tiktok is far worse for humanity let's be real the world in the past two three four years since tiktok took off and uh what's she called that girl addison ray started shaking her booty you know what i mean ever since that day the world has gone soft and we have fallen tremendously and i agree it's sad she she has to worry about these things but she should be doing sports or i don't know can play in hide and seek not watching tiktoks bro you've just told us you want to go outside and you spend your day playing and watching dancing tiktoks it's fucking embarrassing the world is crumbled i hate it but we're a part of it lawyers representing the six young claimants are expected to argue in court that 32 government policies are putting the world on course to 3c global heat by the end of the century it's catastrophic heating said giawa old old queen director of global legal action you know what i mean he's definitely going to be getting some facts stacks by the end of this once he sues 32 governments isn't he this is all good and you know i you know sue the government but this is just for money the only thing they want is cash they want a shit ton of money so for the remainder of it they can fly everywhere in a private jet you know if they do with this money and you know invest it in global warming what's it gonna do it's gonna do sweet fa it's too late we've already gone down the slide you can't climb up a water slide can you once you start going going down you'll win it for the end of the ride we are in this for the end of the ride ladies and gentlemen buckle in because we're going whether you set off or not the people your grandparents you know our grandparents our parents the, you know not them specifically but the, the time they were in and great great grandparents they're the ones who they're, they're the fuckers who did this you know what i mean i love my grandparents they were around when all this went peak tong and went upside down and also how can these 11 people just sue the government and no one else surely we should all get a piece of this pie we're all part of this planet we're all been forced down the slide no one wanted to go down you know we can't climb back up i want to fucking sue i want to sue them the youth applicants of the family also fear that they face unbearable heat oh no imagine being in cold england when it rains when you can be in sunny portugal getting the time of your life oh, i can't no nah, okay that was obviously a joke it's very bad that things are getting really hot you can get your tan on right the, everyone was an anxious about climate change i remember when i was like 12 it used to rain a lot in england and it still does i used to think we were going to flood and then a year later after this year of stressing out because i'd move upstairs to the top floor and we had like a velox you know the ones that are like on an angle my dad tells me oh don't worry we're on a hill we'll never flood it'll be the people at the bottom and that that fear went away i wish you told me that sooner but you know what i mean the government argued that the claimants have not success uh, sufficiently established they have suffered as a direct consequence of climate change i mean other than their houses being on fire the forest all around them and them having ptsd i don't think they've done that either they claim there is no evidence to show climate change poses an immediate risk to human life or health and also urge that climate policy is beyond the scope of european court see that i do agree with it's not just them is it it's everyone so they will be facing 32 legal teams hundreds of lawyers representing governments whose inaction is already harming them jesus i think these lot you know what's why are they doing this do you actually think they'll be able to beat hundreds of lawyers david versus goliath structural change and they're you know they're after money 
money. What are they going to do with this cash, though? This is the shit that bothers me. Are they going to really invest it in the, you know, in humans? It's too late. You can't suck up CO2, mate. You can do it, but you know what I mean? It's not going to happen, especially if, like, the Chinese are doing their industrial revolution now and twice as much. They are fucking us. Can't get rid of cars. You know, electric cars aren't uh, any good. Yeah, materials in them cause real problems. There's so much stuff. Fast food, animals. Do, are these guys vegetarian? Do you not eat meat? That's going to have an effect. You know, the more money you have, the more meat and the more food you buy. The, what, what's the outcome of this? This 11-year-old's going to live this life where she gets to go on loads of holiday? Well, you're going to be flying everywhere, you sausage. You're going to have so much money, you're going to lose touch with society. No matter what happens, no matter how far you go, you do not win. Everyone else loses. See, these lot will get all the money and people like me and you will be stuck, sat here while the world's on fire, fighting people over tins of beans, getting our baseball bat sharpened and stocking up on paracetamol, all because people like Claudia and Martim and Mariana sued the government for a shit toad load of cash, bought a private jet, bought a few Ferraris and are now flying around the world enjoying themselves, eh? Eh? Not on my watch.